Good morning, Sherry Chester here, uh, elementary children's pastor at the Way Bible Church, also the author of Viction, where vision and action collide. It's all about uh, people in ministry in leadership. And today we want to talk about how we strengthen ourselves in the Lord. You know, one of my favorite accounts in the Old Testament is in 1 Samuel chapter 30. And I think you'll agree that there's some things we can take away from it and put in our lives right now and put it in action. And so here's how the story goes. As you recall, David had 600 men. And so uh, they had been outcast of Israel. They were running from King Saul. And so at times they would even go to battle against the Israelites themselves. And so on this one occasion, they went and helped out the king of Gath. And while they were gone helping the king of Gath fight against the Israelites, their very own people, they returned, boy, you know, they'd been away fighting hard for three whole days. Have you ever been giving it your best and you have been fighting the good fight of faith for three days and then you come home and all you want to do is relax? Guess what? They went home and thinking they were going to be greeted by their wives and children in Ziklag, <clears throat> They rounded the corner, and what did they find? They found that the entire town had been burnt to the ground. These raiding, um, you know, people, it believe, yep, yeah, Amalekites, that's who it was. The Amalekites came to them, to their city, captured their women and children, took them away, burned the city to the ground. The 600 men with David were devastated as we would be. Their uh, women and children were gone. And so they cried and they just anguished. And, and the Bible says that they cried till they could cry no more. And so think about it. We have a, a choice about how we respond. And so these men were kind of like, when in trouble, when in doubt, run in the circles, uh, you know, and, and, and scream and shout. And that's how they were. And David realized that they were so upset that they were willing to stone him. Keep in mind, that's where the most pivotal verse in 1 Samuel 30 comes into play. And it says, but... David strengthened himself in the Lord. You've got some crazy things going on in your life right now. I know that for several reasons. One, COVID is a worldwide pandemic. Two, you're in the ministry, which means that you have multiple opportunities for challenging things. We have a lesson right here in the middle of this crazy story. The spoiler alert, you know, they go to the Amalekites, they take their women and children back. No one was harmed. Here's the main point. But David strengthened himself in the Lord. It's one thing to say, I'm gonna gear up, I can get this done. That's of our own strength. My challenge and my encouragement to you today is every time you can, turn to the Lord. Make yourself on purpose, say, Lord, First of all, I trust you. Second of all, you are God. You are King of kings and Lord of lords. And I deliberately choose to enter your gates with thanksgiving. Find everything you can to be thankful of. My goodness, look outside. The sun, the moon, the stars. Deliberately get thankful. Then make sure that you spend some time praising him. You see, we have a choice. We can either look to him or look to our circumstances. Tell your circumstances to be still, to be quiet, that it's subject to the name of the Lord. And then make the choice. Make the right choice to strengthen yourself in the Lord just like David. You see, our circumstances don't have to change for us to be walking in victory. We have a choice Make the choice today and say, yes, Lord, yes, I trust you. I strengthen myself in you. Love you guys.